you for tuning into this YSA broadcast special. Today we're going to be giving you a fantasy draft guide to EA Sports NHL 10 available for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. I am Andrew Ramsey alongside Jake Saltzman. Welcome to the tutorial, Jake. Thank you. Very glad to be here, Andrew. <clears throat> now, the NHL 09, right. very, very good game. Right. The NHL 10 is supposed to be so much better. And in today's segment, we're going to show you why. So obviously, you're uh, one of the primarily new features is the fantasy draft mode, right? Which is is going to add a whole new dimension mm -hmm. to how you can play. It's going to give you the general manager, you know, executive type feel, which I think a lot of players, myself included, have really desired in uh, previous right. NHL games. Right. Of course, who doesn't love to put together their own teams from scratch, right. starting with the pool of NHL talent? Uh, you know, players get to select their own team, mix and match lineups, and obviously make trades. So, I mean, that, that's just a great thing to right. add. And then when it's all said and done, you get to see your team take the ice and you really get to make changes as the season progresses. Really, really special feature. Right. Well, uh, let's go ahead and show the viewers what we're talking about and even give them five tips to drafting the ideal team. So here you see our, uh, our, our wonderful Xbox 360 setup, and we have the Boston Bruins as our, fr as our uh, All right. franchise. So you can see the players selected above our pick, Sidney Crosby, Zidane Chara, quality players. As you approach the draft, regardless of where you are, you have to have some sort of idea. Right. So with our pick, number 11, I'm a goal scorer. I like to start with the forwards. So let's take a look at some of the available forwards. Vinny LeCavalier, Danny Heatley, Hedrick Zetterberg. So we're going to be taking one of those three guys, I can tell you right now. All right. three quality players and in the game's rankings. You wouldn't even take Kovalchuk out of that? I, I would take Kovalchuk, but not right. at this start, uh, you know, statue in the draft. I, right. he, he will be gone before we can pick him again. I'm going to look towards Henrik Zetterberg. Year in and year out, regardless of who's on his lineup in Detroit, he and Pavel Datsuk find a way to get the job done. Henrik Zetterberg, very, very good forward, great skater, makes things right. happen with the puck. He goes to the open areas. He's a guy who has those he's intangibles. A he's a goal scorer. He has all the intangibles in the world. Henrik Zetterberg is going to be our pick at number 11. All right, so Henrik Zetterberg is a pick at number 11, and while you see the simulation there from picks 12 through 30 in the first round, we'll preview our fourth tip, which is hot cheese up front, meaning, y you know, when, when you go up to this, this pick, take some, someone who you know is going to give you value. This is right. not the time to take... Uh, you know, a player who has a lot of potential mm. but hasn't proven himself yet. Right, right, right. The NHL, especially today's <laughs> NHL, very, very goal scoring oriented. So you want to stack up at the forward position. Not, not, you know, that won't be your primary objective in the draft, but that's something you want to do. And if you draft a guy like Henrik Zetterberg with the 11th pick like we did, I'd like to get another complimentary forward before we look to the D or the goalie because there's no such thing as a bad goalie in the NHL. So with our pick at 20, I'm going to stick with the forwards. We have Alex Hemsky, who's a very good skater, but we also have Patrick Kane and Simone Gagne. Chris Gurry, Nicholas Backstrom also there. I'm going to look at Patrick Kane. Patrick Kane, I would agree with you. young star, rising star, the sky is the limit, and even then some for Patrick Kane. He is just one piece of a very, very successful <laughs> Chicago Blackhawks core. Patrick Kane is going to be our pick at number 20. So, so far, just to recap, we've taken Henrik Zetterberg at the left wing, Patrick Kane at the right wing, so we still need those defensive, you know, those two strong defensemen, right. uh, a nice strong center, and ideally a nice goalie. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we'll move on to our third tip, and that's, be, that's don't be out of position. Don't be out of position. Uh, good skaters, you right. need. You need speed. You need guys with Especially that playmaking ability. Before we do that, we've seen some goalies go off the board. Uh, we saw Rick DiPietro and J.S. Jaguar go. I'm going to take a look at some of the goalies to see who's remaining because we want to get that out as soon, out of the way as soon as possible. So take we're going to take a look at the goalies. Right. Thomas Vokun. Kari Leitinen. Kari Leitinen. Two very good goalies, right. but neither on a very good defensive team. Florida, where Thomas Vokun plays, loses Jay Bomeister and Carlos Scratchins in the offseason. So we're going to go away from Vokun and Leitinen. Ilya Brzezgalov is off to a really, really strong start this year in Phoenix. Phoenix right. is a much improved team, especially in the face-off circle. Last year, they were 44% in the circle. This year, they're up to around 63% with their top, uh, with their top centerman, mm -hmm. Vernon Fiddler. So Ilya Brzgalov is getting all the help in the world right. on the back end. So even though Phoenix is not one of the stronger teams in the league and not built for the future, Ilya Brzgalov is going to be our goalie. I mean, you, you saw Nikolai Habibulin right, right. right underneath Brzgalov. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, Brzgalov's only 29, as you can right. see on that graphic. 
and Javi Bulin is already 36. And I Granted, th- I mean, he has, you know, that, that resume, but, right. you know, at this point in And time, i got to think Ilya Brzgalov has a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. He's not playing in a strong market at all. Uh, we don't know what's going on with the Phoenix Coyotes. Right, they're, they're trying to sell right, the team. Right, they're trying to sell the team, relocate the team. Ilya Brzgalov right. is the savior, literally, for the Phoenix Coyotes. And so far this year, he's getting a lot of help on the back end from Keith Yandel, who's a, uh, a local product, UNH. Mm-hmm. Ed Jovanovski, Adriana Coyne, two veterans. I really, really like Ilya Brzgalov, and I'm happy to have him still available. All right, so uh, we'll take Izzy, Ilya Brzgalov with the 11th pick, and then we'll go into the fourth round. And our second tip for NHL 10 fantasy drafting is don't overpay for players. Don't overpay for players. There's no such thing as a bad player in the NHL. The only time you'd want to shy away from a player is if he doesn't work with what you've already drafted on your team. Right. And we haven't taken too many players yet. I'm going to go with a defenseman here, get the, uh, the final position out of the way. So let's see who we have available. Eric Brewer, Ryan, Ryan Whitney, Whitney and Mark defenseman. Streit. Ryan Whitney is a solid defenseman. All those guys are solid defensemen. Right. Uh, you see Derek Morris, he's a Bruin. Uh, I mean, you got Cronwall down Eric there. Eric Brewer is an interesting down. pick. He's the Look. captain of the St. Louis Blues, mm-hmm. very defensive defenseman. And even though he's a great player, he's not a goal scorer, and goal scoring in a fantasy game such as this is, we'll is, you, what, yeah. is very, very important. So of those guys, the most offensive of those defensemen is going to be Mark Streit. Mark mm-hmm. Streit actually led the New York Islanders, now that's not saying a whole lot right no, here, but in points as a defenseman. He's great to have on the power play. He'll kill penalties. He'll block shots. But most importantly, he's a playmaker and a goal scorer. I'll pick Mark Streit with our fourth pick. So we've gone Henrik Zetterberg to recap. Uh, we've also gone Ilya Brzgalov and Gold. Now we have Mark Streit. And the other forward we have... Patrick Kane Patrick of the Kane. Chicago Blackhawks. So all, all we really need now is to get a nice, strong center who, like you said in, in mm-hmm. our second tip, is you want to pick players who complement what you already right. have going. You don't want to pick, I mean, you know, a, a, a ton of superstars who mm-hmm. are going to conflict in, right. in, you know, puck touches. You can have tremendous talent up front, but that all means nothing if you don't have a good centerman to get him the puck. Right. So I'm going to look at a playmaking forward. Uh, looking at the centers, Jared Stoll is the best available. I don't really like what Jared Stoll is doing in Los Angeles. He's not the feature guy. I'm going to avoid Jared Stoll for a while. I mean, there's Saku Koivu and David Legwald, right. two experienced guys. A year ago, Saku Koivu would be an obvious pick here. He's moved right. out west to Anaheim, sort of faded in relevance. It's a big, big move from a hockey-crazy market like Montreal mm-hmm. out to the west coast. Right. Not sure I really like what Saku Koivu is going to bring to this team. So we look back at the, uh, the forwards, if we can here, momentarily. The guy, excuse us. We just missed out on David Craig. You were being informed. That's okay. David Craig is a good player. David Legwand, the Nashville Predator. I really like Travis Zajac. Travis Zajac in New uh-huh. Jersey. They lose Brian Gianta to Montreal right. in the offseason. Right. Travis Zajac and Jamie Langenbrenner are a dynamic duo. And in a fantasy league, Travis Zajac, very, very strong playmaker. He has great instincts. And I mean, he's, he's a big young. guy. And, I mean, he is a big guy. Two. Right. And, and, and 200 pounds, you know. And with, with Zetterberg and Patrick Kane, too. Right you know, potentially prolific goal scorers, mm. you know, you're not really going to, going to expect a huge points-wise season, except right. maybe in the assist category from Zajac. You, you just wanted no to get flaw. them back. There's no flaw in Travis Zajac's game. You look at John Madden, who we avoided here. No, John not Madden, the big John Madden, like, boom! No, not the big John Madden. John Madden, John Madden the hockey player, is actually right. the anti-John Madden football coach. John Madden's a, a swift skater, kills a lot of penalties. Right. Uh, not really an in-your-face kind of guy. Doesn't tend to play a physical brand of hockey. Not a great pick for a fantasy league, uh, for our, for a fifth pick certainly or a fourth pick. So I'm going to take uh, Travis Zajac here. So as we go into round six with the twentieth pick, we will now unveil our number one fantasy number guide one fantasy tip, tip to NHL 10 on the 360 and the PS3, and that is find the gems in the draft, so to speak. Look for guys with potential mm-hmm. who, you know, maybe haven't had that, those breakout years. You know, the opposite of how hot she is. Right. A guy that you know what you're going to get night in and night out. Right. And no flaw. You don't want to find, when you're looking for gems, the one thing you want to avoid is flaws. You want to find a player who is the most consistent player available. So we're going to select the rest of our squad, and we're going to take a quick break. But when we come back, Jake Saltzman and I will unveil our entire squad and the hidden gems we found inside NHL 10.